a man. It's what I always tell y'all. Pay the man. Damn right. Dak Prescott got his money. And when I mean he got his own money, I mean he got his own money. <laughs> Dak Prescott didn't cave in and he got paid. Everybody who kept saying don't pay Dak, Dak ain't worth it. Why in the world he'll never get that kind of money? He want Patrick Mahomes money. He got a four-year, $160 million deal. That's right. $126 million guaranteed. Now, technically for six years, but voids out the four. So as to help Dallas against the salary cap, it could be worth up to $164 million, basically. So he's got almost a $70 million signing bonus, the highest in NFL history. He gets $75 million due in the first year. The first year. The first three years of his deal, he gets $42 million per year. Now, all of y'all going to say, why? How? I don't get it. Dak was an idiot for holding out. He ain't going to get more than 30. I told y'all. <laughs> His agent is a genius. His agent knew the market. The Cowboys hate his agent. This is what I told you. Get an agent that is not friendly with the organization. Why do you want an agent that's friendly with them? Oh, they know each other. They're friends. I don't want to, they going to do what's best for them more than you. I want an agent that don't get a, get along with them. That's going to do what's right by you, his client. Because the more you make, the more he makes. So he's like, look, I don't know them people like that. I'm here to do what's best for you. I know the market. His agent knew the market. And boy, did he know it. Did I ever dreamed he would get this deal? No. So on Wednesday, there'll be a press conference. After coming off that injury, people was like, man, he ain't going to get that deal. Dak put up the numbers. And in this league, it's all that counts. Now, the salary cap numbers for this season will be, what, $22 million? So instead of the $37 million that he would have, that would come along with the franchise tag, he's saving $15.5 million against the season's salary cap. The process of reaching a long-term deal with Dak, covering three seasons, mega million-dollar offers, and all this hours of negotiations, they want Dak to be their franchise quarterback for the present and the future. And Dak wants to remain a quarterback. A lot of people are like, they're going to do a sign and trade with Russell Wilson. And Seattle going to eat that money. If you're Seattle, and if you didn't want to pay Russell Wilson, why would you want to pay that kind of money to Dak Prescott? That don't make any sense. See, the process has been three years. The Cowboys could have made this cheap had they just signed Dak back when they should have.
three years ago. Because now this pushes the bar. No more homeboy deals. And you know who broke the mold? When Patrick Mahomes, Kurt Cousins. Kurt Cousins broke the mold. He was franchise tagged for like three, four years. Instead of them giving him a long time term contract, Washington kept franchise tagging him, paying him 30 something million a year. I'm a franchise. They kept doing it. I'm like, you could have given him a three, four year deal and came out a lot cheaper. Tens of millions of dollars cheaper. Then kept franchising the guy who's only going to get you the first round exit. If that. And you're paying massively. A, a Kurt made up a killing. And he's still making a killing. He went to Minnesota. He ain't win a thing. But yet again, he gets another extension for like another $44 million. I'm not saying Kurt was the problem. He just was never the answer. Now, Dak is 28 years old. He had a compound fracture that was from a dislocation in his right ankle. But he's predicted to make a full recovery before the offseason even starts. Now, the road to a deal like this is very difficult. Dak has put in his time. He's made $70 million in endorsements, but he was being paid like 300000 back when these guys were making. It wasn't his fault, but he was drafted low, which put him at like 300000 for the year. Why? Jerry Goff and all these guys that came in his class walked into multi-million dollar contracts. Now, it's said that he's made over $70 million from endorsement in his four years. You know, that's what people are saying. I, I, I don't see the numbers there, but they said that's how much he was making because he was a cowboy and through endorsements. That's what he was pulling in. But... Let's look at uh, Dak's record. Dak is 42 and 27 as a quarterback. He has a high winning percentage. He has almost 18,000 passing yards to go along with 106 touchdown passes and 40 interceptions. And that's within four years. Now, here's the problem. Here's the major problem. The major problem with this situation, oh, sorry about that. The major problem in this situation is that now Dak, did he deserve the money? Yes and no. Yes, because it has been screwed over. The black quarterback has been screwed over for so many years. And we've always been lowballed because they don't see us at that position. It's the last position on the field besides an offensive line that you would say 
was predominantly dominated by whites. Now, you want to keep whites in the game, you got to have whites on the field, right? Can't just have all brothers out there. But you don't see a lot of Mexican wide receivers or, or players in the league. Don't see a lot of Puerto Ricans out there running routes. They'd rather swim or do something else or play basketball. You don't see a lot of different nationalities like white cornerbacks. We're, we're starting to get some of those slot backs in there and those little slash wide receivers, the what we call the West Welker positions, where you've seen some white guys, you know, predominantly go. Um, but it's just that as long as there's African Americans out there, you know, who could run 700 miles an hour, you know, it's easy to find some of those straight out of high school. Where someone who's Caucasian will have to work at that a little bit harder than others. Now, Dak Prescott, in his seasons, as a quarterback who's considered the black quarterback, he has definitely been what they feared. You know, somebody who could run the ball, could pass, but he could win games early in his career. Or well, they gave the most of the credit to Ezekiel Elliott. Dak was winning games. He wasn't turning the ball over. And the Cowboys credited their system. <coughs> Do I see the Dallas Cowboys being like <clears throat> like um do I see Dak and Dallas being like Tom Brady when he first came in the league and no Dak has a lot of flaws to his game you know he's yet to prove that he could drive the team down the field when the game is 0-0 zero, zero. You know, and convert on some of these drives. They had a lot of drives in which he didn't get his points until the team was actually down by, like, maybe 20. And then he starts coming from behind and getting his yards and his touchdowns. And they're coming back when the game is, you know, pretty much in hand. When guys are they're playing off, they're playing deep. So, if you're going to continuously play that style, you have to adjust for that style of play. And when you do that, you sub, you know, you subject yourself to a lot of criticism um, of your game and doubt that you could actually be the one to take us to the next level. Because against great teams, if you let them get off to a lead like this, it's going to be very hard for you to come back and beat that team. They're not going to just allow you to come back in when the chips is down. So they're going to put you in those situations where you have to make second and third reads. Or get out of there, you know. Right of flight. So that's the pressure on Dak now. Can he can he bring that Super Bowl trophy home that's eluded him for so many years? That's what people want to know. Fright or flight. Anyway, don't forget to like the page. It's your boy Carcino. Let me know what you think about Dak Prescott in the comment section. Don't forget to join the Patreon. Carcino's the name on the Patreon, and I'm out. Well, Carcino. Yeah, that's Carcino for life, Patreon. Okay, yeah. Either way, I'm out.